Oh. Yeah. I think I have enough uh, stuff already. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to 52, 53, 51. Well, first off, gear. There you go. Namba. There you go. That works. Yep. What's this one? Oh, yeah, the hefty Chinese MA stun. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep that there. And you. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm good. Because that's going to be for stun. I mean, damn. Again, this is really convenient with the stun, but no, I'm going to give her the curse blade. Alright. Oh, we gonna gear up here? Oh, I'm still in Man, dude, that was... That was stupid. This brings back memories. Yeah, and also you got shot. Just like everyone else you're in a room with by yourself. <laughs> I mean, uh, let me know if I'm wrong. Everyone he looked up to or was getting important information from end up getting shot. Ready if you are. Let's go. Follow my lead. Now we're talking. Right. And that's the end.
That's nostalgic. takes me back. Let me just get some practice in real quick before I go ahead and, uh, you know, finish it up. Well, let's get started. I'm on a roll. Let's go. I won't pull you back. No begging for mercy now. You're going to regret this. Alright, I got confidence in myself. Let's go finish up this game. She just picked pocket no, no, you. No, it's okay. Sorry. She's a go. Wait up, wait up. Come on. I was calling your name and everything, she's a go. Oh, sorry, Mickey. Hmm. That keychain. Oh no. You know, I've been wondering, that little guy on your keychain, who is he? <laughs> oh him? Ono oh, Michio. He's Onomichi's mascot. Didn't you know? I know he's an a-hole. Uh, no, why would I? I mean, yeah, I know you said you were from there, but seriously, like, the heck is he? <laughs> he's just a mascot. And he's my favorite. I'm not kidding. He's really special to me. Huh. <laughs> you sure have strange taste, Shizuko. You think? Kun. Surgery's the only way I'll get better. If I don't get that surgery, I can't marry Michio Kun. Uh, but I'm not brave enough. Um, I'm so scared. Little girl, you have some weird taste. I'll do it. It might hurt, but I'll push through. I mean, I'm proud of you. I'll do whatever it takes. But I'll be brave for you. No, no, no one talked to you. Hey, she's a go. We're going the same way, right? Let's walk home together. Mm, sorry, nothing came up today. I'm going to some place called Kamurocho Hills. You are? That's kind of far. You okay walking by yourself? You only just moved here, after all. It's not like you know where you're going. <sighs> I'll be fine. I looked up directions. Seriously, don't worry. See ya, Mickey. Okay. If Someone get her a phone. Just be careful. See ya. 
I mean, I know Google Maps saying great, but it's helpful. Any other situation, this will be creepy. I can't save you. I gotta save a teenager from being assaulted, apparently. Yep. You got time, right? Wanna hang out with us? Right, y'all creepy. There's a great little spot nearby. My treat, of course. Uh, no, thank you. I really have to get going. Hey, hang on a sec. There's no need to act like that, is there? What are you even doing over here? You looking for a sugar daddy? Uh, not at all. I just got lost and... Hey, come on. Like we buy that? Now, let's make some memories. What do you say? Someone help! Please! Damn. Get your hands off her. Touch Shizuko again. You're dead. <laughs> Yo, what? And bro, he held his punch. Wait. You know my name? <sighs> You're out of your league. Now get lost. I won't wait around forever. This guy's a freak. Hey, are you good, man? Let's pot go. calling the kettle? We won't forget this. You old fuck. <laughs> Damned kids. Um, thank you so much. Hmm? Oh, no, no. Uh, don't mention it. Take care. Um, sir? I wanted to ask. Hear you, son? Right? It's you, isn't it? <clears throat> <laughs> it is you! I knew it! The same Kiryu who introduced me to Michio-kun. <laughs> oh, wow! To think we'd meet in a place like this! It's been so long, Mr. Kiryu. Uh, yeah. Uh, been a while, Shizuko. Uh, all this time, you still remember, huh? As if I could ever forget? Far as I'm concerned, you saved my life. Twice. Your life? It's true. I've been wanting to see you again, Kiryu-san. I don't think this is going to be in the last part. Kiryu-san, this is such a nice surprise. Really. I'm so glad. Yeah, me too. You were just a kid last time I saw you. Sure enough, you became a young lady. No, not even close. I'm still just a high schooler. So back then, I take it the surgery went well? Yes, sir. The doctor did everything just right, and rehabilitation went well too. Now I'm better than ever. I got my life back, and I have you to thank for it. But I didn't do anything. No, you really did. I was terrified of surgery, but then you brought Michio-kun to see me. Thanks to Michio-kun, I finally had the courage. Without that, well, I might never have... <sighs> Things might have gone different. Truly, you and Michio-kun changed my life. I've wanted to say thanks ever since, for all you did. Trouble was, I had only met you once and never learned anything else about you. It's been my one big regret. I'm so happy I got this chance, more than I can say. Yeah, honestly, I'd often worry about your surgery. Thanks to today, I don't have to. <laughs> well, I never guessed you lived in Tokyo. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find you in Onomichi. That reminds me, why are you in Kamurocho? Did you move away recently? I did. Actually, I'm studying to become a doctor. Just recently, I got accepted into a special school, so with that, my family moved out here. A doctor? <laughs> That's wonderful. If I become one, that is. My classmates are so smart, I have a hard time keeping up. Still, it's my hope I'll save someone's life someday. I'll help them, just like my doctor helped me. So with that, I'll keep on studying. I'm gonna make this dream of mine come true. 
You've really grown up, Shizuko. And it's a great dream. Keep going, and I'm sure you'll get there. Right. And hey, if you ever get sick, look me up. I'll help you get better. You never know. Hey, thanks. If that happens, I'll know who to call. <laughs> okay! Uh, well, should we get going? If I recall, you've got somewhere to be, right? I'll walk you. People aren't too friendly around here. Okay. Thank you so much. For the future, try not to come here alone again, okay? Yes, sir. I got lost, is all. I'll remember not to walk around Kamurocho by myself. Your keychain? It's Onomichio. Guess you're still a fan, huh? Of course! It's like I always say, I'm gonna marry him someday. Yeah, I remember you said that even way back. So it's become a doctor and marry Michio, huh? Personally, I think you can find someone better. Huh? But why? Michio-kun is so funny and gentle and strong. <laughs> what more could you want in a husband? Nah. Truth be told, he's a handful. He's also stubborn, clumsy, and awkward to a fault. Um... Hear you, son? Hmm? This may be kind of forward, but... Uh... The man in the Michio-kun costume back then... Was that...? There you are. Been looking for you, old man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did y'all not learn? Thought I'd pay back what I owe you. Figure with my buds here, I'll add a little interest. Hear you, son? Just hang back, Shizuko. You're safe with me. But wait, if you get hurt... If it means protecting you... A couple scratches is more than worth it. Hey, now, what's this? You gonna run for it, huh? You're gonna wish I had. But sorry, no. I'd never embarrass myself in front of a kid. I'm not holding back. If you've got a death wish, take your best shot! Bring it on! Oh, I thought it was just me against them. You're going to regret this. I'm over here. Oh dang, hold on one second. Bruh, I didn't even notice my mole control died. No second for mercy now. Follow my lead. I gotcha. You're weak. You know what? I'm a hand. Oh yeah. Are you done with all the morning games yet? We ain't got time for this. Time to shut it down. Feel the heat. Pretty you picked the wrong opponent. They really did. Yes. <laughs> Kiryu san, are you alright? Yeah. Believe me, that was nothing. Are you okay, Shizuko? Thanks to you, Kiryu san, you saved me. Like you did last time. Right. Anyway, let's go. Uh, y y yes, sir. Thanks so much for everything today. You even showed me around. <laughs> Nonsense. Happy to do so. Please, I want you to have this. My way of saying thanks. Alright, she gave me the keychain. That's what's up. Use it, wear it, whatever you like. <laughs> and look, here, san we even match. You sure I can have this? It's pretty special to you, isn't it? 
No, no worries. I have like 50 of those at home, so it's fine. I believe it. Kind of excessive, don't you think? <laughs> but thanks. I want you to know I have nothing but gratitude for you here, you son. Look at me. I'm no good. I might be older now, but I'd probably be dead without you. I just keep taking and never give back. Here, you son, forgive me. I wish there was more I could do for you. Shizuko, you've done enough. Huh? I said you've done enough. <laughs> In fact, today I got more than I could have ever asked for. The little girl I once knew, she shivered at the thought of surgery. Now here she is, all grown up, chasing her dream, and making every day count. Which is very important. It's a surprise, but do you know how much courage you've given me? Care you, son. Go out there and live your life, people. Trust me, you're gonna be a great doctor. As long as you don't give up, I know you'll make it happen. So keep at it. Do your best. Eventually, when you see people suffering like you once did, you'll know how to help. And remember this. I'll always be rooting for you. And your special friend, Michio-kun? I'm sure he feels the same way. <laughs> so long, Shizuko. Take care of yourself. Um, cure you, son. Hmm? <laughs> well, I just... Thank you, Somichi. <laughs> Back at you. Thank you, Somichi. Thank you, Kiryu-san. No. Michio-kun. You know, it is watching the kids grow up. It, it it is shocking. I am currently watching my nephew. Currently watching my nephew grow. Oh my god! I don't even know why I said it like that. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am currently watching my nephew grow up. Uh, I was there when he was born. I wasn't there when he was born. Thank God. But <laughs> from when he came home, he like five years old, about to be six now. He was so little, man. That little. Bruh big now for a six five year old. I just I, I just watched him just grow up and you know, it's just heartwarming. I get to take him to school, get to spend time with him and whatnot. <laughs> you know, I, I am that uh, you know, the favorite uncle. I gotta do what I gotta do, but it's just man, it, it's weird. It's weird and heartwarming at the same time. Club. Guess it's being renovated? Not surprising. This town's always had a high turnover rate. <laughs> oh. Forshine. Same name as that club I helped down in Sotombori way back when. They nearly went under because of a rival club. At least until I stepped in as their manager. It was tough work, but... Still a great experience. I haven't seen Yuki, Koyuki, and Yoda-san since then. Hope they're doing well. But if this joint's got the same name... Hmm. Did they open up a new location? Um, excuse me. Did you need something? <laughs> Not good. Wait, have we met before? N no, I think you've got the wrong guy. Uh, take care. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, she's weird. Uh, do you need something? Oh my gosh! It's curious on. You just vanished into thin air one day. I thought you kicked the bucket somewhere. You really ought to show your face more often. But wow, it's so good to see you. How's it going? Uh, it's been going. What about you, Koyuki? You doing okay? Is this the same Forshine? Sure is! 
Forshine, the hottest cabaret club in Osaka, is coming to Kanto. In fact, we're gonna have our grand opening soon. Oh yeah. I hate to be the That's one to great. keep saying this, but so how's business? You Anyone? got like five oh, more months yeah, left on this planet because of your condition. Does it Yo, really matter if people see you? Clowns still haven't hit the road yet. Look, you people are the problem here. Outsiders can't just waltz on in and pop up a club whenever, wherever they want. That's not how we roll in Camarocho. You hear me? You old hags got no place here. Damn. How many times we gotta tell you that, Koyuki-san? Uh, he really just said how many times we gotta teach you, old man. Hmm? Who's he? Some guy from one of the rival clubs. He doesn't like that we set up shop here, so he's been harassing us. Thanks to him, there are some nasty rumors going around. And to make matters worse, a few of our girls got scared off and quit. Ugh, that man's nothing but trouble. Come on now, we just want to settle things peacefully. But if you insist on running a club here, we're gonna have to insist you comply with our ways, alright? And this conversation's over. Honestly, I'd rather die than take orders from you. Rude bitch. Oh. Fine then. I'll just have to beat them into you myself. And how are you gonna do that? Who the hell are you? One of their hires. And as far as I know, Kamurocho doesn't roll any which way. You've got no right to mouth off about how things work around here. Right back at you, old man. Whatever. Guess I'll have to beat your ass first. I'm gonna send all of you packing. You'll wish you never set foot in my city. Let's do this! I'm on a roll. Let's go. I won't do that. Now we're talking. Time to shine! <laughs> no. and that's you the picked the wrong opponent. Oh, is this guy eating? He's way too strong. Why would you say that out loud? Come back here. Those are you inner thoughts. Me. You won't catch me here again. I'm so sorry about that. You helped me out of a tough spot there. The same as ever. <laughs> right, Kiryu-san? No, not necessarily. Anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted, I was just about to ask you to come on in for some tea. Step this way, please. Right behind you. Real spacious here. Not bad. <laughs> we pretty much took over the previous club. It's a great spot and all, so we went ahead and rented it out. So, what happened to Forshine after I left? Well, after you made Forshine the number one club in Sotenbori, Yuki-san, Yoda-san, and I worked as a team to keep it that way. And for 15 years, we were the best of the best in all of Kansai. <laughs> Impressive, right? <laughs> sure is. Much harder to stay up top than to get there. Then, why are you here in Kamurocho, now of all times? Actually, I discussed branching out with Yuki-san and Yoda-san, but you know them. Not a greedy bone in their bodies. They didn't want to risk the club's quality dropping either. But after they retired, I was the one who ended up in charge. I figured, since I'm taking their place and all, maybe I ought to try something new, you know? I see. So Koyuki, the new owner on the block, wanted to give the Kanto expansion a shot. Well, it didn't have to be Kanto, honestly. I just really love Four Shine, and I want to share it with people outside of Kansai, too. The girls back in Sotenbori are golden. They don't need me there to run the club. That's why I thought I should challenge myself, do something only the owner could do. That's great. I'm not surprised you went for it given how much you cherish the place. Thank you. <laughs> Still, I never knew how tough it is to run a business. It's so different from serving the customers. There are way too many factors to take into account and no end to trouble, like that guy from earlier. 
To think Yuki-san and Yoda-san have been doing this for years. <laughs> I can't help but respect them even more. It was one heck of a wake-up call. I had no idea so many people were looking out for us hostesses in ways we never even knew. Well, now that you realize that, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Sorry for dropping in at such a busy time. Oh no, you're perfectly fine. To be honest, I wish you'd stay. Having you as the manager would be a huge weight off my shoulders. Hey now, you're gonna put me to work again? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm serious about being short-staffed, though. We've lost a few of our girls to some threats, and some of our staff have even been headhunted. <sighs> it's gotten me kinda down recently. I guess some things never change, no matter the times. But why not ask the Sotombori Club for help? I mean, I could, but the girls there are really popular. And since we'll be opening soon, I doubt I could adjust everyone's schedule in time. Hmm. Then why don't you ask Yuki for help? She used to be the legendary hostess, didn't she? Yeah, she'd really turn things around. <laughs> if I could even bring myself to ask. What's happening with Yuki? Yuki-san's out there making her own dreams come true and trying something new. And what's that? Running a restaurant. She used the money she saved up from her hostess days to start it up. <sighs> Told me herself that she's been super busy since it took off. I just felt like I couldn't bother her with my problems. <laughs> Not when she's got enough on her plate. And I'd feel real bad disturbing her if she's on track to success. <sighs> Wouldn't want to drag her down or anything. That, and uh, I can't keep crawling to Yuki-san for help. I need to handle this on my own. Ow! 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 What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just because I've been buried in work, my stomach's not feeling too great. Don't push yourself too hard, all right? So, Yuki's got a new place, huh? What kind of restaurant is it? She hasn't told me much about it. All I know is that she set up shop in Yokohama in a corner of a building that's got a lot of bars. Sounds like Ijincho. It probably is. Given the location and how she was the legendary hostess, I'm sure she's running a bar or something. I wish I could swing by, but since this is a new venture for her, I'd feel like I'd be a bother if I showed up. Well, I'm actually staying in Ijincho right now. Wow! Small world! You should drop in and say hi then! That'd totally make Yuki-san's whole day! I mean it! Go! Hmm? Uh, alright. Cool! Let me know how it is! And if she's worried about the club, just tell her everything's going fine and to focus on her place. Got it. I'll, uh, pass on the message. Thanks so much! And I hope you can stop by for our grand opening, Kiryu-san! Five the time, I will. I know things are tough right now, but don't overdo it. That's always been a bad habit of yours. Right, I'll keep that in mind. But still, I'm really happy I got to see you again. And I'm real proud of how much you've grown, Koyuki. I'll catch you later. All right! Nothing, you're dying. Cancer. Is everyone forgetting this? Like, th this ain't even an important plot point of people recognizing you, bruh. You had six months left. I don't know how much time has passed, but five months left. Does it matter? I mean, let me know if I'm wrong. Like, <laughs> for real, because I'm starting to feel, <laughs> I feel dim right now. <laughs> Like, bruh, Three, I wonder what they're going to think. Everybody keeps noticing me. Pretty sure nothing. They know you got six months.
they have you running the city. You're not even in a full disguise anymore. At least in Gaiden, you had glasses on, you had a hat on, you was doing stuff to actually cover your face. Now you just dyed your hair. Honestly, it just looked like you got older. Because of the gray hair, of course. So, you know, it's like, what? Of course people are going to recognize you. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. You could have always stayed back in Yokohama, you know. <laughs> well, maybe. If I'd have known we were gonna take the scenic route. No kidding. Still, Kiryu-san's probably better off with a friend or two. So there's that. Hmm. Agreed. Looks like it's gonna snow. Sorry about this. None of the taxis were willing to make the trip. Uh, no surprise there. Long distance is a gamble for them. You need someone who will hitch a ride back, and where we're going, those are few and far in between. Rare sight to behold, honestly. Not many people would want to go up this way. You might even be the first. How come? You guys work in television or something? No. Just visiting a couple of old friends. It's been a long time. The Second Great Dissolution is the only way to dissolve the remaining Yakuza groups within the country. Perhaps to Ebina, it's just a means to an end, but to Arakawa, it was his dying wish. Knowing that, I swallowed my pride and left prison to see it through. However, Ebina's taken more control of the Seryu clan than I could have imagined. He's got me under 24-7 surveillance, no matter what I do. I can't even be alone unless I take measures like this. If we're really going to pull this off, I need reinforcements. Reinforcements? Yes. That includes you, Kiryu-san. If you'll permit me to do so. Granted, I understand your situation's tricky. I can't ask you to step back into the limelight. Certainly not at the moment. Now then, this may come off as rude, but instead, I'd like to ask you a favor. What is it? Daigo Dojima, Goro Majima, and Taiga Saijima. Three of the most legendary Yakuza of all time. If anyone can help the second dissolution, it's them. You want me to ask them? Yes. I believe we need their influence in order to fulfill Arakawa's will. And rightly this time. After the disbanding of the Tojo and the Omi, its former members established a security company out in Osaka. It was a refuge for old Yakuza who'd lost their way. But for all their efforts, 
the company went under after just a year. Since then, Daigo-san and the others have disappeared. Well, sorry to say, but I don't know where they... But even if you can't contact them, you must have some idea where they might have gone, yes? <sighs> You're not the type to leave them alone for good. You're the only person who could drag them back out into the open. Please, I don't have anywhere else to turn. I do know that they disappeared. However, I'm not really sure why. So, guess we start from there. Sorry, guys. In case it wasn't clear, I'll be out for a few days. Hmm. Old friends, huh? Gosh, these fellas must be pretty eccentric. Don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> no one in their right mind would live out there. I would. Sir. Who knows? I'm sure they've got their reasons. Reasons? Sure. Well, give it two, maybe three more hours on the road. Oh, there's that snow. Better bundle up, friend. <laughs> Well, damn. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. We'll hang out here. Appreciate it. One thing? Maybe try to make it quick. The sooner we get out of this cold, the better. Sure. You know, it may be a shack, but it's still home. Maybe try knocking. Hey! Old manners will go a long way, after all. Shit. You're getting old, Kiryu-chan. Time will do that, Majima-san. Hear you, son. A lot's happened. Guess that goes for all of us, eh? By the way, I have cancer. I'm on a time limit. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to be insensitive, well, just, you know. <laughs> Grab a seat. You need to let people know. <laughs> the least we can do is pour you a drink. Because, bro, you finna be disappeared, and I don't even know. Again, it's at least a common courtesy, because I don't know if I had a friend, and, you know, they had cancer, they don't tell me, and then, you know, yeah, we don't talk for like a month. Solution. It's been four years already. Bruh! <laughs> Last I'd heard, you had a security company out in Sotambori. <laughs> had. And, hey... Look where we are now. What about you, Kiryu-san? You doing okay these days? You don't look yourself, if I'm being honest. Actually, that's no surprise. I've got cancer. There you go. They gave me half a year. <sighs> you what? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Even the dragon, huh? Guess no one's safe. Guess not. Well, if you're short on time, might as well drink up. Doubt Hell's got a good selection. That Mas was Masan. funny. The man's dying for pity's sake. It's all right, Daigo. Might be crude, but he's not wrong. Better to enjoy things while I can. Long as I'm still here, 
I'll keep pushing along. Dead, I'm well, dumb. Better not waste your time with us then. Fine. What happened to you? How'd you all end up here? Who cares about us? This is no place for someone in your condition. You need to be back in the city. I'll get you a car. Daigo. Honestly, you think you'd learn by now? <sighs> you think Kiryu chan here is gonna listen to that? <sighs> it's been so long. I'd almost forgotten. <laughs> really, I suppose this is just like old times. So, you want to know what happened? Is that it? The world happened, that's what. We lost. Settle in, because it'll take a minute. Now, when we set up the company, we knew from day one there'd be risks involved. I mean, this happened right after we dissolved two major clans. How could there not be? We knew we'd get people's attention. Especially since we were all former Yakuza. Knowing you, I'll bet you tried to mitigate that. Of course. Naturally, I tried to take every precaution possible beforehand. I used all our connections from both the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. Talked with the media and the higher-ups. Granted, those things don't come for free. Close to 70,000 lives were on the line, and the five-year ex-Yakuza clause would have swallowed them whole if not for that. I did what I felt was necessary. I'm not here to tell you whether you made the right choices. There's only one thing I want to know. Where did it go wrong? Well, things were great at the beginning. Gradual as it was, we built a fairly large clientele. I mean, plenty of businesses need protection, and we had the men for the job. When it came to reintegrating criminals back into society, it seemed like we were doing just about everything right. All that said, after the first year, we started seeing some issues. Something with the employees come up? No. Online accusations. A popular channel did a feature on our company. Thanks to that, all of our ex-Yakuza employees were exposed. They even aired out the backdoor deals I'd made with the government and media. Hang on. This channel, it wasn't... The Tatara channel. Hmm. Who else? Same one that hit Kasuga. Bruh, she better never come back to Japan. Deals. It was everything. They got their hands on every scandal they could find. They stretched the truth paper thin, and we ended up taking the heat. Maybe. But even with all the stretching, we still did what we did to get ahead. In light of that, there wasn't much we could say in our defense. Before long, <laughs> our customers started leaving one after Excuse another. Me. Government boys washed their hands of us too. Talk about heartless. From there, all eyes were on us. The world was watching our every move. We were at a standstill. And the company's finances dwindled as a result. It was then word broke out among the employees. The Yakuza life was calling them back. I mean, you got former Chairman Daigo up top, and we're right there with him. Ain't hard to see. If we wanted to start things up, we definitely had the means. Among some employees, there were even talks that we were planning to revive the Tojo clan. All sorts of rumors made their way around. The company was in shambles, and in such short time. It's a miracle we didn't go sooner. Thanks to the Tatara channel, society wanted nothing to do with us, and those inside started longing for the old days. For their sake, we figured we ought to shove off. They needed a fresh start, and we weren't helping their case. I see. That explains why you're out here. If we really wanted to see the great disillusion through, this was the best way. That's what we concluded, at least. Hmm. I think I get what happened. Do you know Ebina of the Seiryu clan? He took over the Great Dissolution once you left, at least on the surface. Yes, I know the name. I've never met him, though. 
Two years ago, we got a tip that he was out looking for us. Two years ago? That was right around when Takabe got locked up. That's right. Ebi now replaced Takabe. That's more or less all he's known for. His name alone isn't enough to unite the Yakuza. Not on a grand scale, anyhow. He'd need a few poster boys, which is probably why he wanted us. But little did he know, that ship had already sailed. Yeah, that was part of it. However, there was something else that bothered me. <clears throat> the man was due for a background check. And what we found was odd, to say the least. Ebina was raised by a single mother. But she died when he was in middle school. Afterward, his family name was changed. He became the Ebina we knew today. But the name he had before... It was Hikawa. Hikawa? Ebina's mother's name is Yuriko Hikawa. She's the Hikawa family patriarch's daughter. Hikawa family? You mean Masumi Arakawa's old family? That Hikawa? Correct. And did you know that Arakawa-san and this Yuriko Hikawa were once engaged? Right. The Patriarch pushed the proposal on him, I'm pretty sure. Yes, but Arakawa-san already had a woman he loved. That was Akane-san. However, despite that fact, he couldn't just go against his own boss's wishes. And so, he kept a relationship with Yuriko-san as well. Now, this brings up a good question. Just who is Ebina's father? You don't mean... This is all just speculation, of course. But Masumi Arakawa may in fact be Ebina's father. Ebina is around Kasuga's age, give or take. Even their birth dates are similar. So Kasuga and Ebina... You're saying they could be... Half-brothers? We told you it was odd, didn't we? But if that's really the case, I can't imagine Arakawa would just abandon his own son. Judging from when Ebina was born, Arakawa-san must not have known about Yuriko's pregnancy. And after the Hikawa family all but collapsed, Yuriko gave birth without a soul knowing. From her perspective, Arakawa not only killed her father, he also abandoned her son, leaving them completely alone. I can only imagine the anger and spite she must have felt. And what if that anger was passed down to Ebina? Ebina does hold a lot of hatred for Arakawa. Exactly. So it's hard to imagine that Ebina would take up Arakawa-san's legacy. The second great disillusion was all the man ever wanted. So you guys kept your silence, and, as a result, Sawashiro was chosen for the task instead. <sighs> yes, I believe that's the case. Yep, that about wraps it up. But hey, I'm sure you didn't come all this way for story time now, did ya? That's right. Actually, I have a favor I want to ask you. I want you guys to help out Sawashiro. As it turns out, he's trying to fulfill Arakawa's wish, too. Bringing about the second great dissolution. Ebina's watching him like a hawk, like he's the Serio clan's prisoner. If he just had your help, Sawashiro could step up and knock him off his throne. You all started it. The second great dissolution should be yours to finish. <sighs> I've said it already. There's nothing we can do. Come on. You don't have to like any of it, but at least pay attention. Kill you. Look, they're right. We got no business in the limelight anymore. I mean, sure. It's true we got the power to rally, folks. And we can get them moving, too. We join Sawashiro on stage, and we'll get the attention of every Yakuza in the country. It's called charisma. Nobody's stupid enough to say that for themselves, but... Hell if it ain't true. <laughs> How it goes. Slice it however you want. That's the Yakuza way. The dreams we ended up giving others, they're what keep them coming back. The Yakuza we knew was strong. That Yakuza had money. Those dreams ain't worth handing out right now. They need guys who can help them get back into the real world. No way in hell, that's us. 
Especially not with our recent track record. The moment we learned something was off with Ebina's history, we knew there was a lot to consider. Yes, there's a chance he's taking advantage of the second great disillusion for his own interest. However, if he pulls it off, who are we to interfere? If anything, we should keep our distance. Right. So this is how you're taking responsibility? It is. We'll act as if we don't exist. That's the best we can do. Honestly, even death had its appeal at one point. But if we're dead and gone, our names will just carry on into the future. Kiryu-san, are you aware of what they all say? All those Yakuza. Do you know how they see you? Yeah, they act like you're some great mythical hero. If we ended up just like you, the illusions of the Yakuza life would be stronger than ever. Just look at your own life. Shintaro Kazuma was everything to you. And how'd that turn out? Sawashiro would sacrifice himself to take down Ebina. But that alone won't be enough to save everyone. He's counting on your help. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll be there for Sawashiro as best I can. You guys can just keep rotting away. <laughs> you know, it is kind of refreshing him actually sitting down with his peers and talking. I, I was wrong. Like people that's on the same level instead of everybody just wimping and cowarding. Hold it! And also looking up to him in admiration. The hell's that supposed to mean? He's saying, y'all a bunch of bitches! Like said. I was stupid to think coming up here would change anything. Go ahead and run. Just remember that for all your excuses, you still have a job to do. What? What do you know? What could you possibly know about what we've been through? You have any idea what it's like? No, I can't say I do. And I wouldn't want to. Damn you! What's wrong? If you want to fight, don't hold back. Boy, do I hate getting worked up over petty shit like this. Better than sitting around being pissed off, though. Sure, why not? Let's throw a few punches. For old time's sake. Hey, what's going on? Ain't you guys supposed to be having a nice friendly chat? Cause uh, this sure as hell don't look like one. Sorry for the wait. I'll need just a little more time. Quit acting so tough. We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. <laughs> More importantly, if we stay out here any longer, we'll all freeze to death. Hmm. So you've got five on your side now, huh? Suppose that's fine. I'll just have to tag in, too. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? Never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all three of you. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Like you got any business with us. Maybe stay in your fucking lane. What'd I just say? Oh well, guess I'll try and make this fun. One express trip to hell coming up! At least he doesn't have his knife. Katana? Short sword? No, he does. Hmm. Well, that's scary. How about we have a few bruises after this? Hey, we can't back down now. We're locked in, sister, so buckle up. Fun and games yet? Give it all you've got. Wanna play, Julie? It's over. <laughs> no 
No begging for mercy now. What's the hold up? Oh, they spaced out. That is not fair. I left you in the mud. Oh, that did nothing. That's right. I'll take one. That can't be all you got. Screw it. Yeah. You want some? I'm on. So I'm definitely gonna lose this one. Uh, it's okay though. You know what? Screw it. Bro, his health is not moving at all. I don't appreciate that you don't have your katana. <laughs> Why is she in a ninja fit? Looking a little worse for wear there, Kiryu-chan. Still, you wouldn't kick the nest. Won't let you off the hook that easy. I'd say that's enough for a warm-up. Now, let's have some fun! What's what the holdup? That can't be all you got. You think you can win? Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Here you go. No more games. This time I go all out. Right there. How did that affect you? We're going to regret Something this. Wrong. I think I'm a pain in the ass. Where did the bleeding come from? Yeah. Wanna play, do we? I mean, not like that. I need to handle the you know what? Hold on one second. Yeah. I'll handle the bleeding next time. Next round. I'm glad I didn't handle it. Time to shut it down. Feel the heat! Begging for mercy now. What's the hold up? Now then. Have fun with this. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> 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 
Things are finally getting interesting. Time for the real deal. Gotcha! Just give me They got me good. I don't know how you still guarded that, my boy. There's something about this. Bruh, hit me with a combo. Now you've done it. No pain. Oh. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing to me? You're mine now. <laughs> Empty your mind. Now we're talking. I'm over here. Are you done with all the you fun and games some? yet? Watch this. He is really pissing me off. You know what? Worth it. This is delivery. Coming up. He used his third eye to make the call. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by! And now, top dogs come to the end you die. I'm humbled you request me. May I raise a glass to you? I'm you? Start the night off, right? Your face is enchanting. Hey, where are you? Let's spend a whole night together. Oh my. I feel uncomfortable. Go! Ready! Go! Go! Eyes on the prize! Three, two, one! We hope to see you again soon. Are you done with Follow all my the fun and games yet? <laughs> Damn. No begging for mercy now. Wanna <laughs> Back to my old self. Here's for a happy family reunion. Let's do it. Oh, okay. So I see how we're about to finish this. Um, let me get that MP back up. I need that full MP. Kiryu, uh, end them with the dragon. Where are you at, Kiryu? Here. Thanks. I won't hold back. You want We done here. Time to shut it down. Feel the heat. I thought I clicked the wrong one. I just realized they're in the parking lot. Bro, who's still up? Uh oh, all of them. Let's raise hell. 
Where's my health at? Oh, it's in the middle, I got you. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Let's do it. Follow my lead. You want some? <laughs> oh, he just pulled a bane on me. No more holding back. No begging for mercy now. You think you can win? Play, oh. you Who want wants to go? Here you go. Thanks. Time to shine. Hmm. I won't hold back. I'm on a roll. Let's go. Here. Thanks. Let's Want do it. some. Now we're talking. <sighs> Are you done with all the fucking <laughs> Let's raise hell. <laughs> Bro, you should have been attacked. Why do I talk? You want some? <laughs> Follow my lead. <laughs> No begging for mercy now. They'll make it work. I won't hold back. It's over. Oh, I just noticed the background. Yeah. Pretty bold of you. Close one, eh? <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Bro, Moving they up. can't be having artistic design in the back when I'm going through combat like that. I just noticed it on the last round. Space. I would have loved to see the other ones. Strong. <laughs> Be straight with me. What are you all so afraid of? Are you scared of screwing up people's lives? <clears throat> or maybe... Maybe you just don't want to fail again. Whatever the reason... You'll never know if you don't try. You act like it's so simple. Say we do try. What happens if it all goes to hell again, huh? If that day comes, you keep on pushing through. As long as you're breathing, keep moving, keep trying, and figure it out. There you go again. Always the hero. Say what you want. It's the only way I know. Besides, this is the last time. Anyway, I'm gone. You won't be hearing from me again. Wait. Don't go. Kiryu-san, I get that you don't have a lot of time left. Still, it's not worth it. That's no reason for you to run off and get yourself killed. You're wrong, Daigo. What? Honestly, it's a weight off my shoulders. My death's finally worth a damn. Kiryu, what are you saying? I'm the same as you guys. I've screwed up more lives than I can count at this point. 
Not to mention, I'm a Yakuza. I haven't exactly lived a life that I can be proud of. Yet even then, through it all, I'm somehow still here. <laughs> so that's it. The Yakuza have made a huge mess for themselves. Once I grab hold, I am taking it with me. You're talking out of your ass, Kiryu. That's no excuse to... Wait till things settle down. Come then, Kasuga's gonna need your help. The Yakuza have one chance. Their future depends on him. Don't you leave! Don't you dare leave! Kiryu-chan! <laughs> you know, it's funny. I came to ask you guys for help. But maybe, all I wanted was one last fight. <sighs> Wait, Kiryu-san. No Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, or Goro Majima. Ah, oh, man. If they just get off their asses, we'd have wrapped things up by now. <laughs> You're probably right. <sighs> they seem to have made up their minds, though. It's not like we can force them to help out. You got me there. I swear. To think the Tatara Channel got a hold of them, too. Yeah. Hey! Oh, whoa! Isn't that Kiryu? Yeah, look! It's gotta be him! It really is! What's going on? <clears throat> if we let this guy roam free, the Yakuza will just keep coming back! I don't care if I get locked up! He's never gonna hurt us again! We don't have time to take these guys on. Let's lose them and get back to Kasuga's place. <sighs> get back here, damn it! <sighs> Wouldn't y'all be the ones put in jail because y'all, y'all the ones starting the fight? What do y'all mean? Are y'all stupid, dumb, dim, or stupid? Or slow? I messed up my own phrase. <laughs> uh, hey, oh, hey, you dog. I'd love to get one of my own someday. I always wanted one of those big ones you can pal. Oh yeah, that's right. You got knocked out. My bad, girl. Oh, delicious. <laughs> How the hell did I eat so much? Um, mm. that was one video of game mechanics. Delicious. I've looked after a dog before. It was nice. I remember how he'd always beg to go on walks, even in storms. That's the pet owner experience. <laughs> oh, makes me want one too. I went to the pet store the other day, actually. Saw this big hamster thing. Oh, it was so cute. <laughs> I almost adopted it. Big hamster thing? Yeah. What was it called again? Chin something? Oh. Chinchilla, chinzilla. Chinzilla? It wasn't that big. Do you mean chinchilla? <laughs> That's right, chinchilla. Oh, it had such cute little eyes. I'd like a guinea pig. For real? We back to this? What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils the media's just too scared to touch. Let's jump into today's topic. Now look here, everyone knows this face, right? That's right! Photographed in Hawaii just the other day, it's Kazuma Kiryu! But this latest video comes to us from right here in Japan, in our own backyard! That means Kazuma Kiryu's come home. 
And why, you ask? Well, feast your eyes. This is the head of one of the biggest Yakuza groups of all time, the Tojo Clan's sixth chairman, Daigo Dojima. And that's not all. With him are Tojo Clan officers Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima. These are all major players, Yakuza all-stars, if you will. How about our longtime viewers? I'm sure they recognize these guys, right? Yep, these are the guys who ran that security company from Sotenbori, the same one yours truly covered a while back. A wicked security firm run by former Yakuza members, the company was dissolved shortly after we featured them on our channel. At first, we thought they had well disappeared, but it seems they've simply been hiding out. Now, what's this mean for Kazuma Kiryu? Why would he visit them now of all times? To find out, we've invited the man who risked his very life to bring us this footage. Oh, I can't wait. Ah, yes. Hello there. Now, right away, if you don't mind telling us, sir, Bruh. how did you end up with this video? Well, I'm a truck driver, you see, and yesterday I picked up this hitchhiker. I didn't know the guy was Kazuma Kiryu at the time. That said, I... I do have an eye for seeing through people. I figured he was way too fishy, so after I dropped him off, I decided to follow him. And that's when you filmed this, after you chased him down, right? So, what were Kazuma Kiryu and his Tojo clan cohorts discussing in their little shack? Did you hear what they said? From what I could hear, at least, it was stuff like going back to the Yakuza and reviving the Tojo clan. Going back to the Yakuza? Did you hear that, folks? And coming from Kazuma Kiryu and the like, does this mean everything we feared is coming true? The Yakuza really are planning their return. What does that spell for the rest of us? When did this video go up? Earlier this morning, it immediately went to number one in trending, and it's even being reported on TV. And that wasn't Chitose, was it? Nope. From what Kasuga told me, Chichan completely cut ties with Eiji after all that happened. My guess is he found a substitute. Actually, some of the more passionate fans have noticed, but only a small percentage. The channel's grown, and now even the numbers alone are drawing in more viewers. Right. And to the majority of them, it doesn't matter if they're getting the truth or not. Dwight said something similar a while back. People will always choose the flashier lie over the duller truth. Of course. There's just one thing we need to figure out then. And that's how to take the second great dissolution out of Ebina's hands. We need Daigo and the others' help. And that won't come easy. Hey, hold on a second. Check the video, there's more to it. They say something kind of odd right here. Hmm. Well now, if that's not a shock, I don't know what is. As always, folks, I'll be sure to keep you posted as soon as I hear more. On that note, our next video is a special treat. That's right, tonight I'm going live! We had some guests recently, Ebina-san and Sawashiro-san from the Seiryu clan. Remember them? Well, as it turns out, they just offered to make an important announcement right here on my channel! I'll be visiting the Seiryu Clan offices in Tokyo up close and personal, so don't miss out! Ebina and Sawashiro? And it's tonight. We don't have much time. Plus, if it's a live stream, that means they'll actually be there. Not only that, but Eiji should be there too. The Seiryu Clan's Tokyo office. That's the old Tojo Clan headquarters. We'd better head over there.